Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect your Facebook Pixel to your Wix website in 2023. Facebook Pixel is a powerful tool that allows you to track and optimize your Facebook ad campaign. By integrating Facebook Pixel with your Wix website, you can gain valuable insights into your customer behavior and improve your advertising effectiveness. So in this tutorial, we'll guide you through the steps of connecting Facebook Pixel to your Wix site. So let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type Facebook Pixel and hit the enter button. Go to this first link and make sure to go log in into your Facebook Pixel account if you have one. If you have, if you don't have one, of course, if you have one, simply click on Start Now. Especially if you're logged in into a Facebook account or Facebook uh, Ads account. But if you don't, you can click on Get Started Here or Get Started Here and create an account for yourself. Of course, a Google Pixel account. Once you're logged in into your account or you just created your account, you'll have to navigate into the Events Manager, go to Connect Data Source and select Web, and of course, choose the Facebook Pixel and follow the prompt to create your Pixel and make sure to copy the Pixel ID provided. Then you'll have to go and access your Wix website editor. So log into your Wix account, go and open a new tab, go to wix.com, of course, and log in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, you can always go and create an account. Of course, if you have an account like on Editor X, so as an example, may, it may be helpful. It's going to be the same as Wix. You can go and create an account for yourself with the Editor X account. Once you are here, of course, you'll have to go and, as we said, and access the web, uh, Wix website editor. So let's just go to this one as example, click on this pen icon, which will uh, let us uh, access the editor, editor of Wix. Once we are there, we'll have, of course, uh, of course, uh, on the Wix editor for there we'll be able to install the Facebook pixel, and this where you can access the settings and add necessary code. So go to this list panel example, go to add apps here and make sure to go and add uh, or install the Facebook pixel. So once you go here, go to search apps and simply type Facebook pixel and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you will have to go and install one of those apps that's here, depending on whatever suits you. Of course, some of them are free, some of them are not. So make sure to go and check on depending on whatever you like. You can go and uh, check all of them as an example. So as you can see, this accurate uh, Facebook pixel data for higher OAS. And of course, you can add the two sites, but some of them, as you can see, are paid. So premium sites required or you will have or you will need the premium site. For that, of course, you'll need to, as an example, get a plan on Wix if you don't have one. And you can go and check the, uh, the pricing plans by your own if you want to, of course. So depending on whatever suits you, of course, you'll be able to do so. So once you add your app, of course, you'll have, once you add your app, there you'll be able to access the settings and add necessary code or the pixel ID that you copied from Ads Manager. And of course, in the Wix website editor, you'll have to locate the settings menu and click on track and analytics, then select custom. And from the tracking tool option, click on plus a new tool, choose custom again, and enter a name for the tool, such as Facebook pixel and the paste, and of course, you will have to uh, paste the code snips field, paste the Instagram pixel code that you copied earlier and save the changes. Of course, you'll be able to do all of that if you have the app from here. And you'll be able to manage, of course, your apps from here. So if you click on manage apps, you'll be able to access the app and complete the setup of it. And of course, paste the code and do everything. There is example. And of course, you'll have to access the settings of the app. Once you do so, you'll have to simply now uh, go and test and verify that Facebook Pixel's installation is working correctly. It's, it's essential to test and verify your Facebook Pixel is correctly installed to your Wix website. To do this, you will have to go and open, as an example, your website in a new browser tab and navigate to various pages, such as the products pages or checkout pages, then go back to your Facebook ads or Facebook Pixel Manager navigates into the events manager and click on the test events and follow the prompt to simulate different way or event. 
then verify that the events are detected by your Facebook Pixel. Of course, if you don't want to open a new browser, this uh, this Wix website has an option to go here and preview that your site uh, works correctly, of course, and the desktop and even on the mobile if you want to. Once you click on preview, you'll be able to click on all the pages as you can see here, and you'll be able to access everything so try everything out here test everything out here as i said in the desktop and even on the phone if you click on the phone you'll be able to access everything again and you'll be able to see everything is working correctly if it is that will be great so let's just go back to editor of course if it's not you can always go back and check if something is not working and uh, try to fix it and of course, you'll be able even to create some custom conversations and audiences. So with Facebook Pixel connected to your Wix website, you can now leverage its powerful features. Use the Facebook Ads Manager to create custom conversations based on specific events such as ad to cards or purchase. And this will allow you to track and optimize your advertising campaigns more effectively. You can also create a custom audience based on Pixel events to target your ads to specific segments. And of course, as you start running Facebook ad campaign, regularly monitor the ad performance of your campaign using the data from your Facebook pixel. You can use the insights to optimize your ad targeting, creative, and budget to improve your return on ad spent. As you can see, you'll find everything here on the events manager. And of course, make sure to experiment with different strategies and continuously analyze the results to refine your Facebook advertising efforts. And of course, if you don't know much about like uh, the Facebook Ads Manager or Facebook Pixel, you'll find a lot of videos that explain it more on this YouTube. You can simply find a lot of courses that are free that will explain Google Pixel more for you if you don't know how to read or use it correctly. So here it's gonna, just gonna be the account overview. Here you'll find your campaigns, ads reports, and you'll find it here. You'll find your audience uh, here. So show later, show later. You'll find your audiences here, your billing, ad accounts, uh, settings, and all tools here. So it's pretty simple. Once you use it like for a week or something, you will definitely get used to it. And of course, if you reach this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully connected Facebook Pixel to your Wix website in 2023. By integrating this two powerful platform, you can gain valuable insights into your customer behavior, uh, customer's behavior and improve the effectiveness of your Facebook ad campaigns. Remember to regularly monitor and optimize your campaign using the data from your Facebook Pixel to achieve better results. So thank you for watching and best of luck with your Wix sites and Facebook advertising. If you like this video make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorial like this one and i'll see you in the next video